So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make one of my most favorite dishes, the crispy pork belly. In this video, there will be a square off between the crispy pork belly in the oven versus the pork belly in the air fryer. So tasty, so simple, so easy to make. The best part of it is you only need three simple ingredients to make this perfect dish. So let's get straight into it. Hey everyone and welcome back to Versus Chef where we make two versions of the same dish and compete them against each other. Now if you go online you'll see many different methods to make the pork belly. Some need a thick salt crust, some say you need to boil the pork beforehand, some say you need to refrigerate it 24 hours overnight. Now, we all have busy lives and can't spend two days preparing a simple dinner. So in this video, I'll be keeping it nice and straightforward without all the unnecessary steps. So the ingredients you need for this recipe today are, we need some salt. We need a lot of salt. Next, you need Chinese five spice powder which is a strong earthy mix of cinnamon, anise seed, fennel, Sichuan pepper and cloves. And finally, the star of this dish today is the pork belly. You want a nice rectangular piece like what I've got here with a good mix of fat and meat. The one that I have here is absolutely perfect. Now the first step we need to do is poke heaps of little holes to the skin of the belly. The reason this is important is this helps create the extra crispy and puffiness of the crackle. The fat from below the skin comes up to the top and the heat cooks the top layer of the skin which gives it that beautiful taste. Now you can use a sharp fork, skewer or toothpick or if you have that meat poker thing, you can use that too. Now I don't have any of those, so I'll be simply using this green baby knife that I have here today. Once this is done, the next step is to dry out your meat. Now be sure to pat it and wipe it down with a paper towel. When it comes to pork belly, moisture is the enemy. Pork has a lot of moisture, so you need to make it as dry as possible to help give it that nice crispy taste. Now, once this has been done, the next step is to add your seasoning. Keep it nice and simple. For the pork belly, less is more. Now, for the meat side of the pork, I like to add some slits so the herbs can stick in between. Now, Add in the five spice mix and give it a good rub as you can see what I'm doing here. The next step is to add a generous amount of salt. Give this a good rub and a good mix. Now the salt also helps dry out the moisture from the meat. The next step is to dry the pork in the fridge. Now, a lot of people say that you leave it overnight for 24 hours, but to be honest, that's not required. Even just 30 minutes will be enough to dry out this meat and be sufficient. Now, the next step is very easy. Whack this in the oven and whack this in the air fryer. Now, for the oven, I suggest a temperature of around about 220 degrees. It takes a lot longer in the oven, so I would suggest between 45 minutes to about an hour's time. Now, the next one is also to whack it in the air fryer. Now, the air fryer does cook it a lot quicker, so I suggest a good 35 minutes at 180 degrees will be sufficient. Now, once this has been all cooked, be sure to let it rest for a good 15 to 20 minutes before serving. This helps tenderizes the pork belly. And finally, congratulations, you have done it. You have made yourself the perfect pork belly. So crispy, so tasty. 
and the perfect dinner to entertain your guests. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favourite. Is it the air fryer pork belly or is it the oven baked pork belly? Personally for myself, I think the air fryer does take the winning spot here. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me more than you think and also helps me create more content for you all. If you end up not liking the content, you could always unsubscribe afterwards. Thanks so much and I'll see you all in our next video.